this is an old Orange County Choppers uh, frame jig or fixture, whatever you want to call it, but I'm modifying it to fit uh, antique frames or older frames. It's a 51 wishbone, but I have to finish making the plates and everything. I'm milling some aluminum over there, but uh, here's all the shit that came with it. It's crazy. Look at all those blocks. So I guess they did all the, the huge, you know, like 300 back wheel and all kinds of stuff. But this, it's really tricky. The, the jig will do anything. This is for my axle plate. That's basically how you do it. Right here in the you got your motor mount plate, your transmission, your axle plate, and then I put a laser up top and I center it on the frame and run it down. Put clamps around the plate, come around. A lot of guys use like a girder like that. It doesn't matter. Whatever you whatever you got, use it. Just make sure it's it's level. And then this plate here will slide back and forth. This will be bolted to the frame, and the frame can slide back and forth on this surface down here. This can slide. Everything can slide. Um, the only thing that I have that's permanent is this plate. Well, it's not permanent, but it's it's bolted in. But I can still slide my top plate back and forth. Try to, you know, you want, don't try, do it. You want to level the bottom of your frame when you start building these. Make sure the bottom is level first. And typically, you would bolt in the neck. This was cut already, but bolt in your neck and then lift up the back, put your axle plate on, make your axle plate so it's level. And then build your plates. Transmission plate, your motor mount plate, those are leveled out. Drill your holes, bolt them down, and then they'll be, well, they'll be like a, a block or something that goes from here down to there. And then I can remove the two by fours and it'll sit nice and level. Pretty basic, but very cool. It makes everything a lot faster, a lot sturdier.